but their rhythm in the passing game and in the system just keeps coming. Uh, and the timing with the quarterbacks has gotten so much better uh, with the wideouts. And then what I was encouraged about today, our receivers made some really tough catches. You know, they're, not every ball was perfectly placed, but they, they used good body control and they went up and got some of the tough catches that created some big plays. Are some, are some of those smaller receivers like a, like a Polk or a Bruns, are, are, those, are those guys really starting to make a push? For legitimate well, playing well, time no, with the no ones. Question. They're just getting more. they just keep getting comfortable with what's going on, you know. And I think, you know, I, I don't know how much they had done before, but I thought I think some of the stuff we've been asking them to do is a little bit new for them, uh, and it just takes time and building confidence. And and the the better you know something, the faster you're going to do it, and with more confidence that you're going to do it with. And uh, I think Bruns and uh, and Polk, they've been showing that. You know, they just keep building their confidence and keep making more plays. Logan switch. Is that something that started today? Yeah, we, we just wanted to give him you know, we got four practices left, and he's been a little bit limited, obviously, coming off the knee injury. And uh, we just wanted to get some stuff on film on him, of him on that side of the ball. Instead of waiting to fall camp, let's get it on film now in spring so we can get a fair evaluation of him. And, you know, because obviously there's a little more opportunity in that safety spot than there is at the wide receiver spot right now. So uh, he wants to play, and he wants to be, you know, he wants to do whatever he can to get on the field, so we're giving him that opportunity. Can you talk a little bit about Everett Thompson's injury? Uh, he's just got a cracked bone in there, and you know he probably could have fought through it and tried to wait till after spring, but we're okay. Let's just get him fixed so that he's healthy for fall camp. Yeah, it cracked bone in the foot? Yes. Okay. Is Jake's grasp of this offense about where you thought it would be at this point? Uh, I don't, you know, that's hard to say exactly. You know, it's hard to put a gauge of you know, exactly where you think a guy would be. I, I know this, from the midpoint of spring, you know, practice seven, practice eight, until now, until today, practice 12. I know he has grown quite a bit. Uh, he, his comfort level uh, with the terminology, his comfort level with his progressions, his comfort level when things aren't there to pull the ball down and run and, and find that fine line there. His accuracy has is, is gotten better. I just think his overall game has increased. Where exactly he, he is, where I thought he'd be, it's, it's hard to tell, you know, but I just think he's playing really, he's playing at a high level right now. And he's from last Friday to into Saturday and now into Monday. I think he's just playing at a really high level. And, and I, I expect him just continue to continue to grow. When you first started working with him, was there anything mechanically that he was doing that jumped out at you where he said, no, 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 no? Well, gotcha. there's a lot of things. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and nitpick the guy's uh, technical things, but he's trying really hard. And he's trying to adjust to some of the things that Coach Nussmeyer's really asked him to do from a footwork standpoint, from a release standpoint. And I think it, it, it's starting to make sense for him why now, um, and he's understanding it, and things are starting to come together for him, and you're starting to see the accuracy part of his game elevate.